breathing, our heart beating, and digestion. All of these are regulated by the autonomic nervous system, the system that automatically runs our body's functions. And sometimes it goes a little haywire. So we see autonomic dysfunction in different uh, disorders. We see it in COVID and long COVID patients, but we also see it in patients with other autoimmune disorders after a concussion, after other stressors, such as surgery in some rare cases. Symptoms can be all over the place, from a racing heart to dizziness or fainting, to swings in body temperature, excessive or no sweating, or digestive problems. Do you get people coming to you who say, I've been to so many doctors and they all think I'm crazy? It happens to me every day. <laughs> but there's progress in this field. In long COVID clinics across the country, doctors are looking at the autonomic nervous system as both a potential source of lingering COVID issues and a way to treat them. First, Dr. Azola has her patients make sure they're keeping their blood pressure steady. That's one known cause of these problems. And she says one simple solution, make sure you're drinking three liters of water a day. Dr. Leah Kroll at Temple University, also a neurologist seeing patients who have autonomic dysregulation symptoms, agrees. The first line of defense is lifestyle modification. And there's so many different strategies that you can try on. Like breathing exercises. Our neurologists both recommended meditation and... Patients have success with acupuncture. It is proven to help with stress management. It may not be for everyone, but if it works for you, then that's fantastic. Doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> and this one was magic for me. Cold water exposure. My pool's about 50 degrees right now. Whew. Does the trick. Other people just finish their showers off with a cold blast. That works too. The cold water does seem to give a jolt to the part of the nervous system that's meant to focus on resting and digesting. Feels really good after you get out. Whew.